Get set. Go! Get across the other side. These two teams are racing in tubes, trying to be the first to get across our gigantic lake. Whoever's in her tubes first will paddle into the lead with 20 bucks in control of the show, where a race in our pool really slops on the dough. And I think we have a winner right over here. Nice job. Congratulations. It's Whoa. Super Sloppy Double Dare. your super sloppy double dare host mark summers <laughs> hi there welcome to super sloppy double dare thank you audience and thank you harvey and welcome to the program this is the show where we run through a crazy obstacle course and in the process win eight fabulous prizes two very wet teams two terrific teams let's meet them to my right say hello to a team that calls themselves the stingers lisa and john <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi. How are you today? Fine. Good. Now, it says you're a basketball player. Do you play on a team? Um, yeah, I play for my school. And what's your record this year? Eight and four. Very nice. John is a baseball player. Now, he's a collector of cards as well, but you collect the Fleer set as well as the Donerson uh, tops, right? Yeah. Now, which is worth the most? I have controversial conversations all the time about this. I think Donruss. Because? I don't know. Because you don't know. Nobody seems to know the answer to this. $20 over there and a team to my left. They're dressed in red. They call themselves the Belly Button Lit Team. Please say hello to Albert and Angie. <laughs> Belly Button Lit. Angie says you like to make people laugh. Uh, how do you go about doing this? Well, when they're, when they're down, I try to cheer them up a lot of times. And I usually do really crazy things like imitations of nerds. and Imitations of nerds. Girls. Can you do a quick nerd face for me there? That's a nerd face, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and Albert is a computer person. Do you play the games? Yeah, I like to play games a lot. What's your favorite one? Um, skate or die. All right, got no money yet, that'll change. Let's talk about the show where Daring for Dollars will double your bucks, and here's how that works. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team hasn't got a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for how much, Harvey? Uh, that would be... Uh... Double the bucks? Four times Four the bucks. Four times the dollars. <laughs> and then they either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Well, yes. Yeah, <laughs> so am I. All right, we have $20 over here for the Stingers. They have control with this $10 question. What singer is nicknamed the boss? Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, you're right. $30 for you real quick. The boss. Big Bruce. Tell me, Lisa and John, on what ABC situation comedy do we follow the ups and downs of the Owens family? Mr. Belvedere? Yeah, that's right. Another $10. Mr. Belvedere. Quick impression of Mr. Belvedere. Wesley. Okay. What state's license plate says live free or die? There. Ah, $20 question now, and you guys can get on the board. What state's license plate says live free or die? Double there. Now worth 40 What's the state? Or you can take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's New Hampshire, and we have a physical challenge down here for the Stingers. Worth $40. Well, if you get this, this uh, actually will give you a big lead. Otherwise, we're going to tie the game. Have a seat right over here, if you would, please, both of you, and take off your shoes and socks while I talk to the folks at home about these boots. There is an old expression called, if the shoe fits, wear it. Well, this is if the boot uh, fits, wear it, and we have all sorts of good-looking gack in there. It's full of whipped cream. We have cream corn. We have beans. You name it, we have it, folks. Also, inside each one of these boots, or one of three of the boots, actually, we're looking for three whole bananas that are unpeeled. And how will you find those bananas? Well, you stick your feet inside those boots, and you'll have something stuck stopping you when you get to the bottom on three of those boots. If you find it, take your foot out, grab the banana, say, here it is, put it right over here. If we have three bananas at the end of 20 seconds, you're going to get $40, all right? Understand what you have to do? No. Uh, no, no hands, only feet. Yeah, you look pretty funny walking around with those things on your hands. You may want to pull your pant legs up because uh, those are going to get uh, very messed up. All right, 20 seconds, three bananas. Let's see what happens. On your mark, get set, go! Put your feet in those boots. You may want to use your hands to pull the boot up because you want to find those bananas. So far, you can't use your hands, but you can use your feet. Go on to the next one. Stick your feet down, but you want to use your hands to pull them up. We found one. Go, no, we found that one? Okay. You got one. Grab it out there. Grab it out. Stop. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Can they find three bananas? We're down to nine seconds. And so far, there's one banana right there. Still looking for them. found one banana right over here and these guys are really knee deep in it and what we're going to do is clean these folks up we have a tie game we're going to find out who's going to take the lead on super sloppy double dare when we come back from this join us oh hi there 
I was eating one of those bananas that came out of those boots a few minutes ago. You know, they were saying that I thought I said 20, and oh, actually I thought I said 30. They said I said 20. We gave them 30. If you're recording this, go back and take a look, see who was right. Anyway, the Stingers tried to uh, put their feet in boots, grab bananas, weren't successful. We have a tie score, and Belly Button Lint now has the uh, control. Ipidu, Friction, and Bow Wow, they're all names of what? The Egyptian Three Stooges, characters in the film Star Wars, or Japanese rock bands? Give you the lead by 10 if you can answer correctly. Japanese rock bands? Yeah, you're right. Add $10. How'd you know that, Albert? Just, Brilliant deduction. Just a wild guess. Oh, that's a good guess. In biology, what word is used to describe animals that have no backbone or spinal column? Invertebrates. Or agents. Yes, that's right. You now have $60 on your side of the world. In what country is the museum called the Louvre located? There. Now we're 20. This could tie the game. Where would you find the Louvre? What country? France. Yes, you're right. Tie game. Good game. France. In E.T., what candy does Elliot use as bait? Reese's Pieces. You're right again. You take the lead one more time. Seesaw battle today here on Super Sloppy Double Error. Stingers are now back in control, and they have the lead by 10. Which of the following is not a requirement for a person to become president of the United States? That person must be at least 35 years old. That person must have lived in the United States for at least 14 years, or that person must have previously served in Congress, which is not a requirement. There. Now we're 20. Which is not? Is it he must be at least 35, must have lived in the U.S. for at least 14 years, or must have previously served in Congress? Must have previously served in Congress. You now have $80. Way to go. And again, we have a lead change, and Belly Button Lynch now is in control. What state's name comes from the Russian word for Eskimo? Bring it to 90 or you could dare them. Um, dare. Now worth 20. This would give you the lead. What state's name comes from the Russian word for Eskimo? Alaska. You are right. Well, nice job. How'd you, how'd you get that one, Lisa? I have no idea. Wild I guess? thought of Eskimo. Yeah, and also it's pretty close to Russia there. Okay. On the TV series, da na 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 Batman. Batman, okay. What is the name of the mansion where Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson live? There. Dick Grayson, that's it. We've been trying to figure that out for weeks, Diane, haven't we? Uh, where, uh, where do uh, Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson live? Double dare. Now worth 40 or the physical challenge. Physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's Wayne Manor. Stately Wayne Manor is where that is. And let's come down and do a physical challenge. Why don't you go around this side and you go around that side. Well, we have some little ducks in here. We have 20 ducks, as a matter of fact. And uh, what we like to do is uh, make sure that these little babies get drowned. Now, it's, it's sort of a cruel thing, but it's a uh, super sloppy double dare, and hey, what the heck. So you have to make sure that all 20 of them are under. We see no yellow up uh, through the chocolate whatsoever. Now, normally, when we did this before, we would have a smaller tank, and the kids would be able to get down like this. You may have to actually jump inside the container. It's up to you. You have to drown all 20 in 30 seconds or less for $40 and a good lead. Good luck. On your mark. Get set, go! Drown those guys, get them in there. You may want to jump in, you just may want to just stick your whole body down there and get them down. And we have two down over here. We still need to get them down all the way. Uh, she did a good thing down there. Let's see. One, two, three. They did it. Nice job. Way to go. Whoa. Let's give her some towels. There you go. Step right up here and uh, we will... <laughs> yes. We will do some more Super Slobby Double. They're $130 now for the Stingers, and they have a $50 lead, and they will wipe themselves off as we go for this next $10 question. Elm Farm Ellie was the first American cow to do what? Fly an airplane, go roller skating, or just say no? There. All right, it's worth 20. Elm Farm Ellie, first American cow to do what? Fly an airplane, go roller skating, or just say no? Would bring you up to $100. Double dare. Double dare. It's now worth... Oh, that sound meets the end of the uh, first round. Flying an airplane is the answer. And with $130, the Stingers have the lead. We have 80 over here for Belly Button Lint. Come back with a $40 toss-up. Still anybody's game. Have a super sloppy obstacle course coming up real soon. Don't go away. We've got some great fun coming your way. Welcome back. This is Jackie Stewart. We're at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We're talking about changing tires today. No, this is round two of uh, Super Sloppy Double Dare, where the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound, 
That means the game is over. He's always shouting, isn't he? Well, over here we have eight tires, and over here we have eight tires, and I'm getting tired of talking like this, so I guess I won't do it no more. Uh, take the tires, and if you would put them all over your uh, partner over here, and you do the same, the first team to have eight tires stacked up on their partner will get $40 and control a round two. All right, are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Get those tires on there. This is the fastest pit stop we've had in the history of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We have three tires over there, and we have three tires over there. We have to get eight tires on this, otherwise we don't have a winner. This is Jackie Stewart for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We have it right over here. That's what we have. Take those tires off. Oh, gosh, we've already done it. We can stop now. And, uh, gosh, what can we do? We can move back and play some more Super Sloppy Double Dare as soon as we get these tires off. Well, that certainly tightens things up, doesn't it, gang? $120 now for Belly Button Lint, and uh, they could take the lead with this $20 question. We are in round two. Who was Huckleberry Finn's best friend? Would give you the lead by 10, or you could dare them. Jim. Jim is incorrect. Actually, it was Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer is the answer. No dare at stake, no money-changing place, but a $20 question for the Stingers. Shaggy, Velma, and Daphne are all friends of what cartoon canine? Scooby-Doo? Yes, you're right. You have 150. We would have accepted Scrappy-Doo as well. Some river math for you. Multiply the S's in Mississippi times the number of A's in Amazon and add the O's in Ohio and give me the answer. Ten. Ten is right. You did that very fast. Whoa. Four S's times two A's uh, plus two O's, and that's ten, and you have $170. On the old TV show Family Affair, what was the name of Buffy, Jody, and Sissy's uncle? Was it Uncle Bill? Was it Uncle Ben? Or was it Uncle Bud? There. All right, now it's worth 40. Was it Uncle Bill, Uncle Ben, or Uncle Bud on Family Affair? Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill is right. $40 added over here. We have 160 now. $10 separating our two teams. Mrs. Beasley, remember her? The sport of cricket was invented and is most popular in what country? Would give you the lead by $10. Dare. Dare. Now worth 40. Cricket was invented and is most popular in what country? England. Yes, England is the answer. 210 is what you have now. 50 separating our two teams. Two very intelligent teams today. Baby foxes, sharks, and lions, they're all called what? There. Now worth 40 would bring you to 200. Baby foxes, sharks, lions, they're called what? Cubs. Yes, you are right. $200 over there. Albert Angie, you could take the lead on this question. The United States Marine Corps is actually a branch of one of the other armed services. Is it part of the Army, the Navy, or the Air Force? For $20. Yeah. Now worth 40. Marine Corps, part of the Army, Navy, or the Air Force? The Army. Is incorrect. It is the Navy. Put $40 over here. That gives them the lead by 30, and they now have control. What's the name of the 10,000 Maniacs album that features the song About the Weather? Would bring it at 260, or you could dare them. Dare. Dare. Now it's worth 40, would give you the lead by 10. The name of the 10,000 Maniacs album that features the song About the Weather. Double Dare. Now worth 80, or the physical challenge. Do you know the album, or you're going to take the physical challenge? Physical challenge. In my tribe. And let's do our next physical challenge right over here. Hurry down. Why don't you come over here and take a look at this pot? You go over there and talk to Robin because in this pot we currently have nothing, but we are going to take care of that because, Albert, you hold on to that. We are going to make soup. And when I say go, I want you to take a tomato and toss it over there to your partner, and you have to catch it right there in the pot. And then you have to take an egg, and you toss it over there, and you catch it in the pot. And finally, what you do is you take a little ladle of soup, and you put it inside here just like this, and... Well, you know what? The problem with that is nobody at home will be able to see that. So, uh, Dave, why don't you take this pot backstage? I'm sure we have a much better pot backstage. Actually, this one right here will work a whole lot better because, you see, you can wear it on your head. So put that on your head, if you would. And when I say go, toss a tomato. You must catch one in there. You can move around the line. You can also do an egg. And instead of bringing the ladle over, Robin will hold that. Just take the whole bucket of soup and pour it right on top of his head, all right? If you can do that in 20 seconds or less, we are going to add $80 otherwise... It goes to the other team. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Start tossing those tomatoes over there. Not there. Keep going. Not there yet. Keep going. We need to get... No. No tomatoes. No. You're hitting right in front of them, but not behind them. Yes. Go for the eggs. We're down to seven seconds. Can you do it? Yes. Get to your soup in. You've got three seconds. Two. One. Yes. They did it. Congratulations. Nice job with one second remaining. Let's move on back. Whoa! Talk about cutting it close.
King. All right, let's move on to our next, and that sound means the end of the game. Come from behind victory, $320 for Belly Button Lint. $160 a piece and a trip to the Double Dare Optical Course. Stingers, great game. Thanks for being with us. $105 a piece. And Harvey, what else do they get? Okay, Mark, we'll give him the radioactive jam and soundboard. Full-size, full-feature skateboard equipped with a built-in AM-FM radio. It includes knee and elbow pads, and it comes from Nash Manufacturing. Plus, they'll get this great bike. Fusion 500 shifts you into the future with five speeds, radical tires, and space-age features. Fusion 500 from Kent, where the future is now. Welcome back, Angie and Albert. Come from behind victory. We're at the Super Sloppy Double Dare Obstacle Course where I believe Angie is beginning, correct? Right. When I say go, you'll go up my pet dinosaur and the flag is here. And hopefully Albert will push the head down so you can jump down. He'll pass the flag and you'll win this prize. It's a skateboard, taper flex competitor, nylon vest, and the rad kneeboard. Dual retractable fins. Controls are on top of the board. The ultimate kneeboarding experience from Wellington. Albert, many people get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. You can do this. I know you can. There's a flag. You can actually see it right down there. But a split second before you come over, those balls will start to fall on top of it. Don't let that bother you. Get that flag. Pass it out to Angie, and you'll win this. Tyco four-wheel drive super turbo hopper. Big 112 scale provides four-wheel drive, four-wheel suspension, and twin turbo motors. And it's from Tyco. And number three, Lake Double Dare is here, and you'll have to leap into this boat and go all the way across. Now, if you fall out, don't worry about it. Just run to the other side, because waiting there patiently will be Albert. You'll pass the flag to him. He'll go to four, but before that happens, what's the obstacle and what's the prize? It's the weatherproof Konica MR640, the perfect 35-millimeter camera for the action photographer. Features built-in wide-angle telephoto lens plus auto-wind, auto-rewind, auto-flash, color film from Konica. Well, the obstacle at four is down the hatch, and you perhaps have seen this one. You just lift it up and slide on down down into all that gack. On the other side of this pad is where the flag is. Take that, pad, that uh, flag off and you pass it to your partner and then Harvey says, win this. Yeah, it's Franklin's language master mark. It's a complete dictionary, a complete thesaurus, and completely revolutionary. The world's first electronic dictionary defines 80,000 words by Miriam Webster. Angie, you get the kid farm today, right? Yep. Go all the way up there and down through that sand-like substance and come up around the other side where that flag is. Leap up there and then crawl out. That's where Albert will be, and that's where you'll win this. LeBlanc's Vito brand clarinets in red, white, or blue high-gloss finish. Strike up the band with a clarinet from the world of LeBlanc. Any questions? No. How about you? Oh, okay. Uh, Albert, you get to crawl up uh, the Big Kahuna. This is a slide that uh, actually ends up over here. The termination point is in the sand, but don't get in the sand without grabbing that flag way up on top. Otherwise, you'll be in big trouble. But if you get it, you're going to win this prize. From Casio, the DG10 Digital Guitar. Features include 12 instrument sounds and 12 background rhythms. DG10 has 20 fret neck and sustained reverb effects. You've heard the expression your parents say all the time, it goes in one ear and out the other. Well, this time you're going to go in one ear and out the other, and in there we have earwax. You go in this side, you come out the other side. You're gooked up, but you'll win this. Hey, where do you go to find great toys? KB Toy Stores. And where do you go to find KB Toy Stores? Your nearest shopping mall, you'll get an $800 KB gift certificate. This is where you want to be with about 8 or 10 seconds left. It's the big popcorn box. You can pull it down this way. You can push it down. The kernels are there. There is also a flag. Find that flag in 60 seconds or less. And what's the grand prize today? It's a fabulous space camp adventure. Launch yourself into the future of the real space camp in Huntsville, Alabama. You and a friend will share the adventure of a lifetime at the Space and Rocket Center, Earth's largest space museum. From moonwalking to a real shuttle, all from Super Sloppy Double Dare. 60 seconds on the, on the clock. Good luck, audience, and good luck to you. On your mark, get set, go! All the way up to the dinosaur. Grab the flag over here and pass it over to your partner. We have 55 seconds. Go on over to Tom's running out. Here come the balls, and he's got the flag. He's got the flag. Pass it over to your partner. Number three, you come around the Lake Double there. Wait on the other side. Great job. Paddle yourself across with 44 seconds remaining. Push a little quicker. Get out of there if you want. You'll pick up time. Grab that flag with 38 seconds remaining. She's having some time with the exchange, which may slow him down down the road. Here he comes. Albert is going to reach the flag right up there and into the ant farm with 28 seconds remaining. Let's see how Angie does on this. Pull yourself up. Going to have to move a little bit quicker than that. Big Kahuna number six is coming up for Albert. Way to go. Slide on down and go underneath. We are moving over to 15 seconds, and that's where the flag is up over there. Don't forget to get it. Pass it over to Albert. 
there. Going up number six, and number seven is in one ear and out the other. Lots of earwax. Grab the flag. Pass it over. Good exchange. Come on, all the through. Oh, Harvey, what have they won? Mark, they've got the rad kneeboard, the car, the camera, the language master, the clarinets, and the guitar. A prize package of over $1,700 each. Thanks for being with us on Super Sloppy Double Dare. See you soon. Bye-bye. Promotional consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Double Dare. And by Capcom. The last video game for the entire family. The new Mickey Mouse Capades game features both Mickey and Minnie Mouse, and it's played on your Nintendo system. Promotional consideration also provided by Young Chang. Young Chang's beautiful white tinted finished contemporary condo console piano, handcrafted from the finest materials and built to last. This is your announcer, Harvey Sane. Join us back here next time for more Mondo Mess right here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. See ya.